Hello, good morning, everybody. You're with Martin Panev, Chief Account Executive and Trading Analyst, GDMFX. Welcome to today's European Session Market Outlook. As usual, starting with the brief coverage of the uh, North American markets. Yesterday, Dow Jones, uh, 20 points up, 21 points, uh, I'm sorry, 21 points range, closed on negative uh, 11 points. NASDAQ, same, uh, but managed to erase some of the losses during the night. The Dixie index is slightly up from um, to 97.90 from 97.70 yesterday. Initial jobless claims reports came slightly better than expected, while the continuing jobless claims, along with the challenger job cuts, came worse than expected, and especially with the corporate job cuts, uh, worse than even previous. The dollar edged lower yesterday, but finished just below a two and a half week high against its major rivals as investors look ahead to today's uh, July non-farm payrolls report. Currency pairs, USD Canadian dollar 10 points range closed negative eight points. USD Suisse did almost 10 points range and closed on positive again for six consecutive trading days. USD JPY, uh, JPY no change there yesterday. Uh, unemployment rate, NFP, labor force participation, average hourly earnings month on month, and more importantly, year on year, average weekly hours and consumer credit change. Those are the events scheduled for the, uh, for the US markets uh, later on in the US session. In Canada, unemployment rate and net change in uh, unemployment, also building permits reports and the uh, IVs, uh, purchasing managers uh, indexes reports. Next week's uh, main events for the US uh, would be the uh, labor market conditions report. This is coming, I think, on Tuesday. Uh, monthly budget statement and retail sales. Uh, these are the main, main events for next week for the US. Moving along to the, UK, uh, to the European market, I'm sorry. The German DAX, uh, 30 points down yesterday. The CAC 40, 10 points up. Swiss unemployment rate came out early this morning, as expected, of course. German trade balance, uh, a good surplus there, 5 billion positive, along with the imports and exports reports. The same uh, with the EU second biggest economy, France, uh, where the surplus is now evident as well. We also had industrial production reports for Germany and, uh, uh, and France. Both came with a decline. 1.4% uh, 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 out of 0.2. Next week, we will see uh, gross domestic product and inflation reports for the European zone, French uh, reports, and also uh, the German such. Moving along to the uh, British market, starting with the FTSE 100, uh, which managed to move up to a total of 25 points yesterday, closed very near to 6,700 mark. Bank of England interest rate decision unchanged, uh, eight uh, to one uh, for the vote. Uh, asset purchase facility as well remains the same, 375 billion pounds. Uh, the GDP estimate for the third, for the quarter, uh, as announced, 7%, of course, projected 7%. Industrial production year on year, 1.5%, uh, expected 2.2%. Previous was one9 Despite the uh, expectations that at least two um, members of the NPC will vote for uh, a hike, only Ian McCafferty uh, voted for a hike of the interest rate. This was uh, received as a negative news for the market, uh, who expected interest rate hike to happen earlier, uh, but with only one vote to support it, it may take longer than anticipated to happen. Uh, this is the uh, first split of the vote for this year. As until now, all members of the NPC voted to keep the interest rate unchanged. Uh, Governor Carney said that the uh, exact timing of the hike cannot be uh, predicted in advance because it's, uh, it's uh, data dependent. Uh, the more important data, of course, is the inflation reports, uh, which suggested that the economy will grow with 2.8% uh, for this year and for next year, the anticipation is 2.6%. CPI inflation is reported to have dropped to zero in June, about three, uh, uh, four of the deviation of 2% target set by Bank of England is due to unusually low contributions from energy, food, and other important good, 
uh, good prices. As a direct result of the 81 volt to 81 volt is sterling lost strength against all the majors and erased the gains it had built the previous day. Uh, versus the dollar, nine points down yesterday, 17 point range. Uh, versus the uh, yen, 12 points down yesterday, 21 points range. Uh, versus the uh, Australian dollar, moved 10 points down yesterday. The range was uh, again 25 points, four points down, um, four, four or five pounds today already uh, is the decline. Uh, versus the loonie, 21 points down yesterday, 27 points range. Uh, and versus the, uh, the Kiwi, the New Zealand dollar, 20 points down yesterday, 27 points range. Uh, and versus the, uh, uh, the Swiss franc, six points down yesterday out of a 17 points range. It is moving uh, pretty much sideways today. Big, big, big movements yesterday on the uh, on the British uh, British pairs. Moving to the Asian Pacific markets, the Nikkei 225, 230 uh, range yesterday, 145 points down yesterday, 70 points up today with 200 range already. Foreign reserve uh, reports came out 300,000 less than previous. Now at one point. Uh, 2, 4, 2.3 billion yen. Uh, the the uh, Bank of Japan monetary policy statement remains uh, pretty much, uh, the policy remains unchanged as expected, of course. Interest rate decision remains uh, as previous at 0.1%. The uh, Bank of Japan refrained uh, from expanding monetary stimulus uh, as Governor um, Kuroda bets the world's third biggest economy will emerge from a recent soft patch and inflation will pick up. The central bank will keep uh, increasing the monetary base at an annual pace of 80 trillion yen, which is about 640 billion US dollars, as expected by us. Uh, Asian stocks fell following a slide in the US equities ahead of a US jo uh, jobs report that might cement prospects that the Federal Reserve will raise interest rate as soon as next month. Uh, the uh, Bank of Japan says uh, Japan's economy continues to recover moderately uh, and keeps assessments uh, pretty much unchanged. Uh, yesterday, um, as, we, as we spoke, uh, some of the currency pairs there, the biggest mover was the uh, yen uh, pound. Waiting for the uh, press conference today of the uh, Bank of Japan. On the Pacific front, uh, the Aussie performance of construction index 47.1 up from previous 46.4. Home loans 4.4%. Um, it's down from expected 5% and uh, from 7.3 previous. Uh, the RBA monetary policy statement basically, despite the uh, slight increase in the unemployment rate, the economic conditions in Australia are encouraging. Earlier, um, earlier reading of the uh, uh, steady increase of the economic growth combined with the uh, good consumer confidence, uh, which we already saw the reports, and unchanged interest rate have picked up hopes um, for the Australian dollar. Data on uh, domestic economy over the past few months has been generally positive, and the international economic conditions have improved by closing uh, steadily on the trade deficit. Policymakers' confidence suggests that uh, a three-month pause in interest rate changes, uh, but also we could see a rise till the end of uh, till the end of the year. So, uh, people who are looking at the Pacific currencies, uh, stay tuned. Commodities: um, S and P 500 index had a range of 30 points yesterday, ended on a negative, uh, currently hovering around um, 2,080. Gold had a range of $10 yesterday, uh, trading at 1,088. Currently, silver had a range of 25 cents at 14.70 as we speak. The WTI had $1 range at 44.80 uh, currently. Natural gas is trading at 2.80 at the moment, range of 10 cents yesterday. Um, basically, the natural gas store exchange uh, in the U.S. in the week ended July 31st, rose by 32 billion British terminal units, below expectations for an increase of 42 billion. 
futures uh, reversed losses to trade modestly higher on uh, uh, yesterday's trading after the data was published. Uh, the U.S. oil futures um, fell to the lowest level um, of more than four months uh, yesterday amid uh, perceptions that a global supply glut might stick around uh, for much longer than lines uh, anticipated. Oil paired a weekly decline after an inflation U.S. lawmaker announced opposition to President Barack Obama's nuclear deal with Iran, uh, which is expected to boost global surpluses of, uh, uh, to be successful. Uh, Senator uh, Schumer, a New York Democrat who is in line to become the party's next leader, said he will uh, break with Obama and oppose the agreement. The oil market faces a glut even without new Iranian supply. That is uh, pretty much all for me from today. Um, please be very alerted. Today is a huge day. NFP data, unemployment, watch out for the U.S. pairs and also the Canadian pairs uh, later on this afternoon. That's um, all for me. Thank you very much for your attention. I wish you a successful trading day. Bye-bye.